Hey Zoo fans! In this video, we're going to go over how to set up and maintain ZooMed's Turtle Clean 50. The Turtle Clean 50 is an external canister filter that's designed to help maintain clean water in aquatic turtle tanks. This filter combines mechanical, chemical, and biological filtration to efficiently clean up to 50 gallons of water. Before starting, review the included instructions to make sure that all of the parts of the filter are included. Once everything is accounted for, you can begin setting up the filter. We'll first start by putting together the filter's water intake unit. Find one of the two hard elbow units, attach the intake tube to the non-threaded pipe of the elbow, and screw the screw nut onto the threaded pipe. The intake tube is the clear plastic tube that does not have the irrigation holes down the side. Next, snap the intake strainer and adapter together and attach both to the opposite end of the intake tube. Lastly, add the suction cup clips to the intake tube. To apply the suction cups to the clips, simply press and twist. Next, we'll put together the outlet unit. Attach the second hard elbow unit to the small elbow piece and screw the screw nut to the threaded pipe. From here, you'll have the option of attaching the spray bar or the flow diverter. When attaching the spray bar, add the two suction cup clips and plug the opposite end of the tube. Once you've set up the intake and outlet units, you can begin assembling the filter. Start by attaching the four rubber feet to the bottom of the filter. After that, Open the unit by gently pulling on the clasps on the side of the filter and pressing down to push the filter head up. Once you have the unit open, remove the two filter sponges. Rinse the sponges, carbon bags, and ceramic media under running water to remove any dust or debris. Place the side filter sponge into its appropriate chamber and then place the two carbon bags into the bottom of the center chamber. The square center filter sponge can now sit on top of the carbon bags with the hole facing upwards. Take note that the carbon should not be removed from the bags. Add the ceramic media to the empty chamber on the side of the filter. Lastly, make sure the intake strainer is attached correctly to the impeller cover and that the air vent tube in the filter head is pointed upwards. Fit the filter head back onto the unit, making sure the fill cap is over the chamber with the ceramic media. Secure the clasps on the side of the canister and your filter should now be ready to install. For installation, situate the intake and outlet units the way you want them in your tank. Secure the suction cups to a clean, smooth surface. The intake strainer should be completely submerged in water. Screw two screw nuts onto the threaded pipes on the hose connecting device. Place the canister on a flat surface near the tank and attach the two clear rubber hoses. The intake hose should be connected to the in pipe on the canister, while the outlet hose should be connected to the out pipe. Once the hoses are in place, tighten down the screw nuts on the end of each hose. Make sure there are no kinks in the hose. Hoses can be cut shorter if needed. Now that the filter is ready, remove the fill cap on the top of the filter and fill the canister with dechlorinated water. Replace the cap and make sure it's secure. Now plug the filter in and it should instantly turn on. For safety reasons, it's recommended to have a drip loop do this by letting part of the filter's cord hang below the power outlet. The water flow can be adjusted by changing the controls on the intake and outlet elbows. Your filter is now ready and operational. This filter should be cleaned at least once per month. For maintenance purposes, always disconnect any electrical appliances being used with or around the tank. Rotate the hose connection device to the unlock position to easily remove the intake and outlet hoses from the canister. For regular cleaning, take the filter head off and remove the sponges and carbon. Clean the sponges under running water to remove as much debris as possible. Rinse the ceramic media in dechlorinated water and replace the carbon bag every three to four weeks. 
From time to time, you'll want to remove and clean the filter strainer and impeller cover. The cover can be removed by pressing the release button and gently pulling on the two side tabs. Next, remove the impeller by pulling up on the small metal shaft. Clean both the impeller and the impeller chamber. Once finished, return all the parts to their appropriate positions and make sure each one is fastened correctly. If they aren't appropriately fastened, the filter may not operate. Lastly, make sure the air vent tube is pointing upwards. Lock the filter head back onto the canister, and then connect the hose connecting device by twisting it to the lock position. Fill the canister with water through the fill cap and replace the cap. Plug the filter in and your filter should now function like new. That's all for now. See you next time.